Good afternoon. My name is Dean Schaefer, and I'd like to bring you another Obsidian Systems webinar. Today, I want to talk about the Atlassian's Next Gen projects versus the classic projects within Jira. What's the difference, and why do I want one over the other? Well, in a nutshell, Next Gen projects are much more simple. Uh, they are quick to set up. Project admins do everything within the Next Gen project. Uh, you do not require a JIRA administrator. Uh, you'll remember in classic projects, JIRA administrators tie each project to the seven schemes in the background. The purpose of that is so that these projects across your instance, across the company, can share commonalities within these schemes, and it makes for the JIRA admin's job a little easier. Uh, but anytime there, there is a change within that scheme across one of those projects, it's going to roll out to all of those projects. Whereas one of the other advantages to a next gen project is they have no uh, commonality amongst themselves or no shared schemes. There's no schemes whatsoever. If I change something on my HR next gen project, my finance next gen project, or my software development next gen project does not get affected by anything that the HR team does. Uh, so that is a, a nice feature if you have uh, various or wide differences between uh, projects within your company. So one of the things we want to really keep in mind is, do I need that simplicity? Do I need that ease of setup? Uh, if so, the next gen project is definitely going to be the way you want to go. Uh, the other the, the downside to next gen projects, though, is classic projects have a lot more functionality built in the back end but you do require a JIRA admin. So if you are a small company or a medium-sized company, but you just don't really need that uh, level of complexity within your JIRA instance, you might wanna take a look at the next-gen projects. Uh, on this screen, we do see some of the differences uh, that are you know, from one side to the other, the classic service project versus the next-gen. Uh, on next-gen, it's a very easy setup. Uh, quick to maintain or quick to change things, very simplified uh, permissions. On the classic side, uh, it's a, a very detailed and very deep configuration. Uh, again, you need, do need to manage uh, the, the classics with JIRA admins, very detailed workflow editor, uh, permission scheme, all sorts of stuff uh, that really kind of allow you to chop and change the JIRA instance per, uh, by project. So again, you need to make that decision when you're jumping into creating a new project. Do you need that level of complexity or do you want to keep it light and, uh, light and free and just go with a next gen? Uh, let's jump into a next gen project uh, just to show you the difference uh, between them. So here we can see we are in uh, my uh, cloud instance, by the way, your next gen projects only currently exist in cloud. So if you've got a server or a, a DC instance, uh, you will not get next gen. How do I know I've got a next gen project? Well, down here on the lower left side, you'll see you're in a next gen project. So you can see here, for the most part, next gen projects do look like uh, classic projects. So you've got a backlog, you've got your team board, uh, you've got code, uh, your confluence pages. You can add a, a link here if you want. Um, You'll notice you also have a roadmap here. Um, the roadmap is a newer feature that's come out. It's a, a light version of portfolio. If you remember portfolio, uh, now known as agile roadmaps. So again, your, your screen looks the same, right? Uh, but again, it's on the back side that you'll notice that it really is much different. So let's go into our project settings. So again, your first uh, link here is details. It's pretty much the same that we've seen everywhere else or on the classic side. Uh, access is now uh, the new name for people. Uh, on classic side, it'll say people where you can add people to your project and or roles. Uh, so again, same thing that you would do on classic. Uh, your issue types. So this is where next gen is much different from classic. So here on this project, and I've just got a next gen scrum project, this is the default issue types out of the box. I can certainly add another issue type if I want. And you can see here, I'm currently highlighted on bug. 
this is the screen that I'm going to have all my fields on within a bug issue type. So again, I can add fields. I can create fields on the right-hand side here. Um, I can add fields to my description uh, pane. I can add them to my context fields. And down below, you've got your hidden fields. So again, it's as simple as dragging over to the side to remove a field. Or just by, on the flip side, if you want to add a field, it's as simple as adding a field over here to, the, to your context fields. Okay. Uh, up here, you can see you've got your workflow. If you want to edit your workflow for this project. Again, you can see it's a very simplistic uh, process. Uh, you've got your statuses up here. Uh, you could add transitions from here. Um, if you want to add a rule, uh, remember in classic, when you're talking your transitions, you've got a lot of functionality uh, within your transitions that you can do that create a lot of automation, if you will, um, you know, pop, show up some screens, pop up a screen when you're transitioning from one status to another, uh, setting approvals from one transition or one status to another. So again, your rules on next gen are very limited. You basically have this, but it's still, it, I think it gives you enough to get going. And again, if you're choosing next gen, you're really not opting for a deep uh, level of uh, project configuration. You're really looking for something to get up and running. Uh, and, you know, I might suggest that you start with a next gen project, work with it, see how it's going for your team. If it's doing what you need it to do, then you probably got a winner. Whereas if you're finding after a week or a month or so that it's not giving you actually the, the level of uh, complexity or the level of detail that you need, you're probably going to need to roll it over into a classic project. Okay. So this is our workflow. And again, it's a very simplistic. We can change, we can add our transitions if we want. Um, you can add your statuses and add transitions. Again, just like a classic, but just not as detailed. Okay, okay so that's our issue types and our workflow. I'm gonna go back to our project settings. Here's notifications, or if you remember in, in classic projects, notifications are very detailed. Uh, you can send uh, notifications based on uh, quite a number of things on the back end. In next gen, they do give you the big ones. So you've got pretty much everything you need, again, to keep it light and, light and easy. Uh, but again, you can, uh, you can add notifications based on what you're looking for. So there's not really much difference here between uh, next gen and classic. Features is a very cool section. Uh, this is where you can turn on and off things. So if you remember here on our project, we had this roadmap up here. Well, let's say I'm not gonna use a roadmap. I can go back into my project settings, go back into my features and disable it. If I don't need a backlog, I'm not doing scrum or I'm not doing um, you know, backlog grooming, uh, I can turn that off. If I don't do sprints, I can turn that off. Um, estimation, pages, code, uh, here's releases and, and versioning. So lots of different things that you can turn on and off. Okay? And then apps manage any apps outside of the, the Jira instance that you've purchased uh, from the marketplace. So again, that's for the most part, that's it with NextGen. It's kind of down and dirty, but it's very simplistic, very quick out of the box. Uh, it gets you up and running. Uh, the team uh, out of the box has full access to maintaining the or turning things on and off. You can lock that down if you want. But again, out of the box, they've left open next gen projects for pretty much everyone. So again, a great tool if you want something quick, you want something easy to set up. You do not have a dedicated JIRA administrator. Um, the only downside is you don't get that level of complexity that classic projects give you. Um, Classic projects, uh, you know, the Jira admins will configure the project using those schemes to, to map the shared objects, uh, like, you know, to the projects, like the issue types, the workflows, the fields. Uh, so really, if you're not looking for that level of complexity, you want something uh, quick and painless to set up, um, Atlassian's empowered the project owners to actually customize the projects based on their unique needs uh, without having to go to a Jira admin. 
I hope this was beneficial to you. As always, if you have any questions, please contact Obsidian Systems. We've got a whole team of dedicated Atlassian superstars that are willing, to, uh, willing and able to help. Thanks for your time. Thank you.